Hi, my name is Luke Ortiz Gravi, and I'm a senior at Skyview Academy in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Hey there, my name is Zachariah Gibbons, and I'm a senior at Cherry Creek High School. Hi, my name is Hooray Lai, and I'm also a senior at Cherry Creek High School. And we are your co-chairs for the 28th annual Colorado Youth Diversity Conference. The CYDC was founded 28 years ago to promote the celebration of diversity in schools all over Colorado. What started with a small group of students quickly grew into Colorado's largest diversity conference. We've grown to organize diversity conferences across Colorado and even New Mexico. Aside from the conferences, YCD has also created a student virtual board with members across the country that plan and direct virtual diversity events. We are so excited for all of you to be here today and even more excited to see how you will apply the things you learn today into your communities. Growing up as a kid, I was always a bit different from all my peers in more ways than one. I didn't communicate or act the same ways as them. I didn't really identify with them. In terms of who I was and how I expressed myself, I never really had the capacity to fit in and I was never really sure about it either. My identity felt like a broken record, repeatedly stopping and stuttering while those around me could all play in harmony. I grew up in rainy Portland, Oregon. From attending a cultural immersion preschool to having one of my friend's parents start a composting initiative at school, to seeing classmates attend marches, rallies, and peaceful protests downtown, I grew up being surrounded by expression. Yet I never truly knew what my role was. That was until my parents announced we were moving to Denver, Colorado, midway through my sophomore year of high school. I went from waving to people in the halls to being the kid that ate alone at lunch. I didn't have a community where I felt like I truly belonged. From the start of high school, I struggled to find a place I could call home. I felt isolated and inherently different than those around me. Whenever I entered the school building, I grappled between fitting in with my peers and figuring out my identity. As I felt the disparity between who I knew I was on the inside and the person I presented to the world around me grow, I searched for an honest and open community. Soon enough, I would grow to discover myself more, and eventually I learned not only of my identity as a neurodivergent person, but also as a transgender bisexual man as well. One thing was always missing, though. Where were the other people like me? My freshman year of high school, I got the opportunity to attend the Colorado Youth Diversity Conference, and there I met people like me, as well as people who were nothing like me. From there, I learned the true value of diversity and what it means to have a diverse identity. Joining the executive committee and getting to plan the conference was a whole new level, teaching me that it is my job to not only stand up for myself, but for other hushed voices as well. Junior year, I saw a bright poster showcasing glowing faces surrounding words reading Youth Celebrate Diversity, encouraging high school students to apply for the executive committee. I remember the excitement I felt at my first meeting. I very awkwardly and nervously stared into a classmate's eyes, asking my future self questions surrounding goals and satisfaction. Every meeting since then has been the same, engaging in consensus discussions, picking workshop leaders and keynote speakers, turning a year's worth of events into a fitting conference theme and artwork, learning from other passionate, like-minded students from across the state showed me that we are not alone in carrying the spark to inspire change. In fact, it was when I sat in a circle with students from all different backgrounds and experiences united in our efforts to create change that I realized I found my community. These conversations showed me how to grow my own voice, how to be confident for who and what I stand for, and most importantly, how to listen. Lessons all carry with me for the rest of my life. And for that, I'm eternally grateful for this experience. When I first joined the executive committee, I knew I had found my home for the next three years. Through the vulnerable conversations and educational opportunities filled with mutual understanding, I grew to accept my identity and learn more about those around me. The conference has inspired a passion to create these open conversations everywhere. Throughout my years on the executive committee, I have seen attendees of the conference flourish in the vulnerable environment that the conference creates. As you go through the conference over the next two days, we challenge you to be vulnerable, open, and understanding towards those around you. No matter what experiences you have through the conference, we hope you walk away satisfied and eager to bring these ideas to your own community. This conference is such a meaningful and powerful experience to not only the three of us, but also those who have been able to attend in years past. Thousands of diverse identities have been able to come together and speak with the collective voice. 
exchanging experiences and making memories that would shape the way they view the world for years to come. Your identity is so important, and no matter the challenges you face, you must learn to love and cherish it and share it with the world. Diversity is what makes us so strong, and celebrating it together is what makes us unstoppable. This past year has been filled with unprecedented changes as a result of COVID-19, nationwide social activism, and necessary calls for racial justice and unity. We ultimately decided to change the conference's name to the Colorado Youth Diversity Conference to reflect that we're reaching more people across the state and the country. Though the conference has shifted to a virtual platform this year, we know that the CYDC is more crucial than ever before. And we hope that your experience in the next two days will be just as powerful, if not more meaningful and relevant than past years. With the ever-changing present, we only thought it would be fit to have a unique theme this year too. Take off your mental mask, embrace vulnerability. This weekend, you will hear from many powerful speakers, participate in profound discussions, and engage in meaningful workshops. The issues these conversations address cover a spectrum of issues that, that affect our community and others deeply. We encourage you to actively participate, listen, and apply your learning and knowledge in your future endeavors in order to spark change in your community. Embrace vulnerability. Diversity is at its best when we are willing to let our guards down, expose ourselves, and learn something new. After this weekend, we hope each of you will feel empowered to create change in your school, community, or world, no matter how big or small. Even after the chaos of this year, don't forget, no matter where you are, you are capable of so much change, and diversity can often be, a, be all it takes to light the way. We're excited to welcome you once more to the 28th Annual Colorado Youth Diversity Conference. We hope this conference has a similar impact on you as it did on Luke, Hooray, and myself.